So for our book flicks book this month, I have Skunk and Badger by Amy Timberlake with pictures by John Classen. You might recognize the style of the pictures from John Classen's picture books, like I Want My Hat Back. Um, Amy Timberlake is a very good author, um, and she's writing in a style that is a little bit like a classic children's book from a long time ago, maybe 50 years ago. So it has a style that's quite old, but is in a very charming kind of friendly way. So it, it's not a book about the modern world. Um, it's a book about animals that live in an old house called a brownstone house. And the characters are Skunk and Badger, the name of the title. Uh, Badger lives in a brownstone house um, and he's allowed to live there by his aunt Lula. Um, so it's, he doesn't own the house and his job is he's a rock scientist and he does important rock work, he likes to call it. And then one day uh, someone rings on the doorbell and it's Skunk and he ha has also been given permission by Aunt Lula to live in the brownstone. And Badger hadn't checked his mail, so he didn't realize that Skunk was coming to live with him, to be his new roommate. And this causes all kinds of conflicts in uh, Badger's mind about um, having to share his space. Uh, obviously, <laughs> if you're gonna make a story like this, you're gonna make the characters very different. So Skunk is very messy, very loud, very friendly, very out outgoing. Um, but also, um, being a skunk has a reputation reputation as we know skunks uh, when they're not happy can make a not very nice smell um, so it's dealing with uh, how we understand other people and how we accept them or don't accept them or what preconceptions what ideas we have about them okay so the other characters in this book are a big bunch of chickens and there's some beautiful pictures by John Classen uh, that some of them are in colour, which is also an old style um, of having a book, is to have some colour illustrations in the middle. So here we have, the landscape had gone chicken. So these chickens just start turning up in this town. Badger's never seen them before. And it's uh, very clever because it's using this science theme with the rock scientist uh, that the the chickens are able to appear and disappear using a quantum leap, which is a scientific term. So it's very funny and very unexpected things happen in this story. As I said, it's very charming, which means that it makes you feel kind of satisfied reading it. And it has that old kind of classic, classic style of an older children's book, a bit like Winnie the Pooh, if you've heard of Winnie the Pooh, it has that kind of feel to it, or Stuart Little, it's another classic children's book from America. And they seem, these kind of stories, they seem like they're very simple, um, but actually there's a lot going on, as I said, about understanding each other, about empathy, things like that. So this book, there is a sequel to it as well. This book came out in 2020. Um, the sequel is called Egg Marks the Spot. So I'm looking forward to reading that too. I really enjoyed reading this story. Um, it has 144 pages. As you can see, the uh, pictures on some of the pages, there's not too much text. Um, the vocabulary in this book, there are some uh, longer words, like scientific words, but they're kind of contrasted to how kind of fun and simple some of the other language is. So um, you could use it to kind of widen your vocabulary or you could have a parent read it aloud to you. And I would say this is a really good book for age seven and up.